below charts. Three common mistakes to avoid. Make sure that you, you know the correct symbol shape. We will have a look at those in a minute. Do not confuse the shapes. Make sure you put a yes no text on the arrows in the correct place, especially for decisions. Don't forget to have a loop counter, usually I, and don't forget to increment it. Here are the shapes. So the oval or the circle is just simply to indicate the start and the end of the diagram. The arrow indicates the direction which is usually down or right the quadrilateral is equivalent to the print or the input statement in python the rectangle is a variable an array or a calculation and while if and for would be a diamond let's have a look so here is a diagram to find the smallest number so you may have seen the pseudocode. So we're starting with a circle, so we know we're going to proceed in this direction. We've got three variables. It's okay to put that in one rectangle. I in red is the counter for the for the for loop. Come down. Now this is our for loop. It says if I is less than length of your array, and the very important of the no or the yes. Well, as it's zero, it is. So we go down. Yes is down. This is the if statement. So we say, is my array i, which is zero or 2, less than smallest? Well, it is. So we follow the yes. Uh, we, we change smallest. And then we increment i. We keep going around. So notice this arrow is above the for loop. It must go above. And we keep circling around until eventually this incrementing makes i not less than length and we pop out. Here's our print statement in Python in a quadrilateral and then we stop. 